as part of defining the go-to-market, one of the first things we agreed to is let's not major in minors. Let's have a very focused approach to growth in IoT. And essentially, as we did our market research, you know, they say a trillion dollars of value will be created by IoT. 34% of that will actually happen in manufacturing. And if you add uh, automotive and transportation, that's roughly half the market itself. So what we said is, let's double down on automotive and manufacturing as a whole across all of our industry verticals because that's the second biggest industry sector that EY has. We do about six billion in revenue just in that sector. What specific areas of disruption are you seeing from, a, from an IoT, from an AR, essentially supply chain manufacturing, that segment? Could, sure. you take a, could you take a minute and talk about that? When you look at this market, especially manufacturing, there's a lot going on in terms of flat to declining revenue and operating margin growth. If you look at labor productivity, that's been declining. Revenue per employee has been declining. On top of that, when you add things like the talent gap or the skills gap, you know, World Economic Forum has said there'll be two million jobs vacant by 2025 in manufacturing just in the U.S. All of this combined with just the disruptive nature of what technology is doing and as industry boundaries are blurring, you know, really manufacturing needs a reboot and a growth agenda. So we really view this as an exciting time to be in the industry where the thought leadership that UI brings in and leading with an issues-led agenda first and then using technology as an enabler to help our clients really capitalize on this opportunity. We see tremendous upside for us and again, all of this is only possible with the right set of ecosystem and business partners and that's where PTC comes in and you know we see a lot of potential with what we can do together. Any advice and any thoughts for enterprises that are looking to go solve their business problems using EY's advisory services, uh, consulting implementation services on how should they view uh, 5G and how should they view uh, IoT security? 5G and connectivity in general is, is a hot topic now. And I think as 5G deployments accelerate over the next 18 to 24 months, mm -hmm and connectivity becomes more reliable and uh, much faster. So higher bandwidth, low latency. Uh, you know, I think it'll enable and unravel a lot more data that today in a typical traditional manufacturing environment is hard to access. Once that data becomes available, again, applying IoT, advanced AI and analytics, we'll uh, really unravel uh, a lot more business value and the other thing I think 5G will do is uh, it'll increase the convergence of all these disruptive technologies and we'll see a quantum leap, if you will, just in terms of acceleration of all these digital transformation projects and pilot purgatory that we hear about. So connectivity is key. At the same time, once you connect anything, you're potentially exposing yourself to incremental risk. And that risk is not just tied to <clears throat> cybersecurity, but you know, also data, trust, and privacy are becoming uh, more and more critical. And we at EY view trust by design being a key element of how we approach any engagement more proactively rather than reactively. So you know, hopefully that answers the question both around connectivity and security. I think both are very, very critical. <laughs>